My name is Craig Milbury. The shop is BCL Sports. We're located in Miami, Florida. We started in 2013. We started out in um, sporting goods, which we still do. We have a sporting goods store, and we also have an urban goods store. So kind of like we had to um, print for our line. We was going to another guy, and we simply outgrew him. We got to a point where you know things we needed. Are, we had two stores at the time, and we just outgrew them. So then we just then we got in sporting goods. So people asked me to make jerseys for them and you know stuff for them. So we just you know kind of we had the space sitting here, you know. And um, we just kind of like, you know, hey, we went to our first size of this show. I checked it out and, and we, we, we started from there. I never I never knew, you know, what it takes to make a T-shirt. You know, people, sometimes you get kind of customers come in like, oh, just, you know, print this, you know. And they think like it's just so simple. You know, they don't stand, they got to start with the design, the artwork, is it vectored, you know, then the separations, then to make the screens. And like I tell a lot of my, like I tell a lot of my guys, there's so many things have to go right. If, if you can't print transparencies, if your pressure wash is not working, if one thing's not working, you can't print. You need almost what, 12, 13 things to happen for it to print. So when I first got into it, you know, and, and, and um, you know, we started with a manual, a little oven, and you know, I'm not a designer, so I gotta get my separation, how to print my transparencies, how to burn screens, to wash them out, you wash them out, you know, you got to throw the pressure, you're doing out motion, you know, and, and there's a lot of things, you know, you get to the press, you set up, you got the register. So it's a, it's so tedious, there's so many little things, you know, that I had no idea when I got into it. I had no idea, you know, but, you know, I love it. It's my passion, you know, I, I like I said, I've been in retail selling clothes for over 10 years prior, so now to be able to make my own, um, brand on shirts was like, you know, you know, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. It, everything what we do, it has to make sense. And it has to make sense more so on, you know, you got to give the customer value. And what I'm getting back to is, you know, charge what you need to charge. Charge what you need to charge to give people the right service. And that's what I think a lot of people go wrong. They try to be, you know, you can't look at my prices and set your prices. Because you don't know you don't, you don't know my rent, you don't know my payroll, you don't know what I'm doing. Charge what you need to charge to give that customer a nice product and to guarantee it. If you got to do the shirts over, you should at least break even. Not, it's gonna cost you a couple hundred to do them over because your margins are like 15%. And that's where you come with the, oh, I got you next time. Because you already at no, you have no margins, and I see it happen all the time. I'm like, you know, because I tell, I get, you know, you know, you, and that's the thing where I come. It comes from quality and service, and how you build your business, and the people who build their business on those principles are gonna thrive. They're the ones who thrive. They don't want to have newer facilities. They don't want to have new equipment. They don't want to have more employees staying longer with them. It's, it's, and I think that's the risk. That's our recipe for success. Like our culture around here is like a family. You know, we come together, I try to make everything comfortable, you know, and I tell you, we all go through, I see someone down, you know, I'm going, what's wrong? You know, it's, I'm, I spend more time with them than I do my own family at home. So it has to be that kind of um, culture that we can grow together. And one statement I make to every employee that works for me, if we're doing the same thing, Last year we're doing now, we're out of here. That means that we're not growing. Because I believe if something's not growing, it's dying. And I want everybody to come here and thrive and grow. And everyone who's been with me, like one guy been with me 10 years, he's seen the growth. You know, and they want to grow too. They want to, you know, my people have to ask for raises. I give them automatically. They get paid here, you got to bump up. And they appreciate that because they see we growing, we, we grow the family. The more they put out, the more they put in, they get out too, you know? So I think that's the main the main thing I think with retaining employees is just um, finding people with good character, you know, and that wants to grow. We opened in 2013. We had to be with Deco since 2015. Wow, 2015. And I had to, um, 
find a, um, a program because it was just too much. It was the time it took me to give an estimate. That's one thing that's very important is how fast can you give a quote? You know, people want quotes right away. They call you and you have to sit here and take out a calculator and add up this and add up that. And it was like, I needed a program that's gonna fit my industry. And I looked at, you know, numerous and Deco was the most fit. It was easy going. And since I started, I haven't looked back, you know? And the main thing was, um, like I say, I'm always king on automation and with the shirt builder and I can use one site. I like going one place for everything. I don't wanna to have to put a website here and then where a person can come in, um, upload the artwork, put on a shirt they like, you know, email the quote, you know, they can do everything right then. Price, everything automated, you know, and that really what got me. And it has a, it was the only program that had a front end back end. That was really got me. Because most of them had front ends, mostly for web stores and stuff like that, but didn't have a back end. And then showed me production, then showed me, I, I wasn't able to do mock-ups, I wasn't able to, you know, she was, you know, production rating was not, and, and, and that really, and then also the integration with Sanmar, SNS, been amazing. Where I don't have to go and I can just put a style number, it's up there, the color, the price there. I can put the locations front and back. If I want an embroidery, if I want a DTG, if I want it, it would just have been amazing. And it's, and it's, and like I say with us, I tell, one thing I tell my, my salespeople is time. You know, when people come in, um, it's how fast you can give a quote back. And right now, people walk in, they have a quote in five minutes. That's printed, and then they call me three months later, okay, what's your quote number? I don't have to come back to someone and say, oh, you told me you're gonna do it for $5 shirt. <laughs> you know, because they like, give me a price. Oh, just give me a price. No, I need to, you know, and no, what's your quote number? You can put that quote number and everything you have is right there and we can move forward. So it's been much efficient and they, and they can get a, uh, you know, email quote. And Chris, we get, we get estimates all day over the, over the internet, and emails. And I'm able to respond to them within two, three minutes with a full automized quote. So it's been valuable. I think I could not, you know, I, I couldn't run the business without that <laughs>